We've received numerous phone calls and emails about this for several days. Starting tomorrow, Jacksonville will suspend its curbside recycling services and open 14 new drop-off locations around the city. But as News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar shows us, although the locations have not yet formally opened, people are still dumping tons of recyclables into bins. This is at William Sheffield Regional Park. These four recycling bins supposed to be opening tomorrow. Instead, they're already overflowing. Take a look at these two right here and what's between them. Bags of recycling, plenty of cardboard boxes and bottles. Recycling bins literally overflowing at William Sheffield Regional Park, a site just as bad at the opposite side of town at Normandy Park. These bins were not supposed to be used until Monday. In some cases, illegal dumping and things that cannot be recycled at all, like trash bags. This is what Normandy Park looked like Sunday morning. Less than an hour later, this picture from a viewer showing that pile outside of the bin growing. The city setting up these 14 sites for dropping off recycling starting Monday, when curbside pickup will be indefinitely suspended. Most of these new sites are at parks. News for Jack spoke with Kathleen Murphy on Thursday when the bins were being set up. She is a member of Friends of Riverside Park and is not thrilled with the plan. Keep coming back every day and doing a little, a little check and if I need to call the city for an extra pickup, we'll do that. The city is focusing on trash pickup as it piles up in neighborhoods across the city due to a driver shortage. Now that you have to drop off recycling, remember these items are what should be in these bins. Broken down cardboard, paper, including magazines, metal cans, plastic containers, and glass bottles or jugs. They should be empty, clean, and dry, and other options available to you are reusing what you would recycle or putting it on the curb mixed with your regular waste that will be picked up. There is no timetable of how long this new setup will last. Reporting in Jacksonville, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.